The dating scene can be brutal, but we've all got to brave it. So why not do it drunk while riding around in a ridiculous looking vehicle? Hey, what's the big idea? See that double-decker bus? It's not in London. It's in Phoenix, Arizona. Well, we, uh, we had to drive it up to Liverpool, put it on a ship uh, across the Atlantic Ocean, um, through the Panama Canal, up the uh, Pacific Ocean into Port Waimi, Los Angeles, from Los Angeles down to San Diego, over mountains, desert, uh, into Phoenix. I mean, it was 7,000 miles and took nine months, and uh, it was very emotional. That's crazy. And why do people do crazy stuff? Bingo! Double-decker dating, a relaxed and informal uh, approach to the whole dating experience with a slight British twist. Singles gather at a Phoenix British pub. The dames board the double-decker first and pick a seat. Then the chaps hop on board and the mingling begins. Every three minutes, a uh, you hear the sound of Big Ben's bowl. That is the sound for all the men to switch seats with the ladies and try and find love with someone new. So that happens about 10 times and you get to meet 10 different people. The bus is bloody cool. The steering wheel is on the wrong side. A framed pic of the queen stands guard above a cooler for beer. Decker also stops at the Phoenix Art Museum, so extra bonding can be done by the singles. <laughs> Yeah, last week's event we had a, a few couples actually hook up. Um, one couple was seen sort of walking off hand in hand, and one couple, uh, well, I, I don't know if they knew each other beforehand, but they ended up in the toilets in the bar upstairs. You, you, know, you never know what might happen on a double-decker dating. Whee! Let's keep it sexy.